All right, good morning, students. So today is day 14, and we're going to continue working on measurement. So first, we're going to go over the date, and then we're going to jump right into our lessons. Hope you enjoy. Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020, and we are on day 14. Now, let's get right into the lesson. This is the sheet we will be going over today, and it's called, Which Line is Longer? All right, so let's look at question number one. Question number one say, which line do you think is longer? Make a prediction. Use small paper clips to measure each line. Record the number of small paper clips used. Was your prediction correct? Explain to an adult. So I believe that line A is going to be longer than line B just because line B don't have as many turns or as many curves as line A. When you look at line A, you notice that we have a lot of turns and a lot of different lines and curves. So that's why I think line A is longer than line B. Let's find out. So this is our chart or our lines. And we're gonna use paper clips to measure. So I'm gonna do mine a little differently because I don't have enough paper clips. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna put one paper clip here. Put another one here. But I notice that that whole paper clip doesn't take up that line. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a mark right here. So I know from that stem on up, I still have that paper clip left. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it right here. So I know my stem starts right here. So I know I should put a line there. So I know from here to there is another one, another paper clip. So I'm going to write one, two. So now that my third paper clip is going to start at that line. Now I put three. And then I'll take another paper clip, put it here. So I know that it's four. I just keep going. Five. Sorry, I'll just keep that there. Six. So and once again, we got one of those situations where we don't use the whole paper clip. So I know from here, that's the amount of paper clip that I use. So then I will start, I move that part off, kind of I'll stop there and I'll put it right there. So you all want to make sure your paper clip starts where you left off that. So as I put my paper clip back here, I know we start right here inside of the second inner loop. So I'm gonna make sure the second inner loop is off a little. So I know that that makes seven. Cause we're gonna try to make it as accurate as possible. It's okay if you're off just a little bit, um, but you just wanna make sure you, you're accurate as possible. So then this is eight. And then once again, I can look at this one and tell that it's about half. Or a little over half. So I mean the other rest of it should go here. So I know this is nine. Come here. 10. Eleven, 
And I can honestly just put that one there because they're going to take up that line and that space. 12. So once again, we just have a tiny little piece. I know that stops right at this line here. So in my rest of it will go right here because it stops at the line. So then this would be 13. Fourteen. Fifteen. This is close enough. I'm gonna bring this in around. This is accurate. Sixteen. And then we have a little piece here. As you can see. Line B is completed. Line A use 16 paper clips, whereas line B uses 13 paper clips. Therefore, line A is longer then line B. Which line do you think uses fewer paper clips, large paper clips, to measure how long? Make a prediction. Use your large paper clips to measure each line. Record the number of large paper clips used. Was your prediction correct? Explain to an adult. So it said, which line do you think uses the least amount of lowest paper clip compared to the first question asked you which line you thought was longer? So since I thought that line A was longer and it shows in that line A as long as we could use the most small paper clips. I'm gonna assume that line thir I mean line B uses less paper clip. So let's see. So, I'm going to count now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, line B uses seven paper clip. And then we're going to do line A. So, line A is a little tricky because, once again, it has shorter lines in places. So, we have to do what we did last time. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the long part first. I know it's easier to measure my long straight lines first and then go back and do the smaller parts. So now what I'm gonna do, cause I see I'm having a lot of gaps towards the top. So I know this little piece right here is about the same length as this one. So I'm gonna include this little piece right here 
into this room, into this paper clip. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna start how I did with the small paper clip. So I see that this paper clip stops here, right in the inside of the paper clip. And I'm going to take that same paper clip and I'm going to take it off so I know I'm getting about the same amount that I should have, okay? So that's five. Put another paper clip here. I see that we roughly stops. Let's turn it the other way. But it roughly stops right here. So just a little bit in side the paper clip from this way. Okay, so about half. So this is about half. So I'm gonna take about half of the paper clip off. So I know that's five. This becomes six. Since it's just a little bit, we're gonna say seven. Eight. And just by looking at this line, I can see that this is gonna take about half. My other half is about here. And then we have maybe another paper clip here. So I know that seven, eight, like I said, once we got eight, we have nine, the other half will go here, 10. So our large paper clip is about 10 for this line, just because we have so many curves and so many small angles. So once again, six, seven, eight, half, half, nine, and then 10. So my lowest paper clips here is about 10. So once again, I thought line B probably have the use the less amount of paper clip. I was right because um, line A uses 10 lowest paper clip compared to line B using seven paper clips. And the reason I came up with that prediction because I saw that line A uses more small paper clips than line B. So that means that line A was longer than line B. And this is the final product. So question one is line A, and question two is line B. Thank you, have a great one.